Hi guys. Um, well, welcome to my house. Um, <laughs> um, when I left off, I was talking about resistors in series and um, how to calculate their equivalent resistances and how to calculate the current uh, through them when they're attached to a battery and so on and so forth. Um, so this particular uh, video is going to focus on what happens when we've got resistors in parallel. And we're going to look at the, um, um, the math and the formulas involved in that and do an example problem. So let's see if I can uh, find my slides. There we are. Okay, so um, just like in the last lecture, when I started off with a, uh, um, a nice, uh, nice picture, beautiful picture of a waterfall, um, here I've got another picture of a waterfall. Um, now, this one's a little bit different though, because in this one, um, we basically have three separate pathways um, that uh, this water can get and can take to get uh, down to the ground. So um, all of the water starts, I mean, we can imagine it starts higher than where I'm circling it, but we can, we can picture the water falling from, from right where I've got it circled to, to right down there. Okay. Um, so it falls through some height. Um, so there's a there's a there's a height drop, I guess you could say. Um, all the water that's at the top up here, it's got the same uh, um, same potential energy, um, and then it loses that potential energy as it drops down to the bottom. Okay. But it all goes through the same height drop. Now we're going to use this idea. Um, in conjunction with uh, with circuits, um, so let me see if I can move on. Okay, Oops. another nice picture of a waterfall. All right. So I've got a blank slide here, um, and I just want to try to develop this idea a little bit, and we will do our best as far as the drawing goes. I think it's time to minimize my space. All right. So. There, okay. Draw. okay. So we can picture here a battery. And then we've got maybe a resistor right there. And we've got a resistor right there. And these guys are in parallel with one another. And we'll call this R1, this R2, and this V total. Now we can picture a couple of things here. Uh, first off, uh, let's uh, let's go with our idea of a nine volt battery, um, just like we had last time, just to give us some numbers to play with. So nine volts there, zero volts right there. Um, so we've got um, uh, nine volts on the positive side and zero volts on the negative side, um, and no matter what pathway we take to get from the positive side. Um, to the negative side, um, change my color here, whatever, uh, whatever pathway we take, if we take this one right here, or if we take this one over here, whatever pathway we take, um, we've got to lose that nine volts. So we start out at positive nine volts, we've got to get down to zero, we've got to lose that nine volts. Well, if I look at this then, that means that my total voltage here is going to be exactly how much voltage I lose across resistor one, and it's going to be exactly how much voltage I lose across resistor two. Um, both resistor one and resistor two um, get that full nine volts, just like the water in the previous slide, well, all the water fell the same distance, fell the same height, even though the, the water took different pathways to fall from you know, up top to, to down at the bottom. All right. Um, let me see here if I can do a little bit of erasing without, uh, I'm going to have to redraw, uh, maybe, nope, okay, sorry, learning something new here. Uh, so I'm going to erase that, ah, oh, it wasn't so bad, and now I'm going to redraw uh, my little uh, bit of, there we go, I think that's slightly different color, okay. All right, so that's the voltage. Um, I want to talk about the, um, the current as well. Um, so we can imagine current coming from this battery. Um, and you know, so we'll, 
label that I sub T, T for total. Um, it's, that's just the total current in the circuit. Um, but when it gets to this junction here, some of it goes down through resistor one, some of it goes down through this second pathway, resistor two. Um, but you know, think about what goes on there. Well, what goes on there is that the current's being split. And so I total is equal to I1 plus I2. And it's split up. Now we can use Ohm's law, and specifically we're going to rearrange Ohm's law so that current is equal to voltage over resistance. And we can plug this in to our expression there for current um, and see what happens as a result. Um, well, we've got to hold on to all the subscripts as well. We've got to be careful with that. So on the right-hand side, we're going to have V total over R total. And then this is equal to V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2. So we just stuck in that expression, I is equal to V over R for each one of those um, terms um, in our current equation. Now, one thing we notice here, and one thing I pointed out just up a couple of lines above is that all these voltages are the same. So as a result, we can cancel all those voltages out and what we've done here is we've developed an equation for how to add up um, resistances when we've got resistors in parallel. Um, so my total resistance for this circuit, or at least the, the inverse of my total resistance for this circuit, would be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now, I'll caution you that you'll have to be careful when you use this formula and make sure that you don't make a mistake in your calculator or misunderstand how to calculate things. And we'll, we'll go through an example problem here in a minute. Um, so this is the case when I've just got two resistors. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next slide and we will see um, yeah, the, the uh, generalization of this formula. So let me clear all these and we will try and move on. Okay, all right. So that right there is my equation for what happens when I've got parallel resistors. That's how I add parallel resistors, um, uh, resistances together. And like I said, we'll go through an example here in just a moment. Um, we've got two, um, two drawings over here on the right-hand side. Um, we've got this one right there. We've got that one right there. Um, they both are the exact same circuit. Um, they're just drawn slightly differently. Um, the one on the bottom probably makes a little more sense to us visually, but if we, if we had the one on the top, then we could just redraw it um, and, and make it look like the one on the bottom. It would be the exact same mathematically. All right, let's go on to the, to the next slide. Let's try to. All that stuff, okay, this says we've got a 10 volt battery. Um, that 10 volt battery has a 100 ohm and a 200 ohm resistor connected in parallel. Um, and we're supposed to do um, several things here. I, I wanna find the current through the battery. Um, I wanna find the voltage across both resistors and the power used by both resistors. And I'm going to find some other stuff while I'm at it too, um, because I think this is, a, this is gonna be a decent example for us. Um, let's see here. If I can start to draw maybe a little bit, there we go. We got one there. And one there, those are like the worst drawings of resistors ever. But R1, R2, and VT here. All right. So um, we know what the resistors are. Resistor one is 100 ohms. Resistor two is 200 ohms. Uh, we are trying to figure out, um, oh, sorry, it's not right. We know what the, what the, the, the uh, battery voltage is, it's 10 volts. Okay, well, um, let's see, what are we looking for here? We're, we're trying to figure out what current passes through the battery. Uh, we're trying to figure out what the voltage across resistor one is and what the voltage across resistor two is. Oh, well, that's that's no problem. We know what that is because 
those guys are both in parallel with each other. And the only other thing they're connected to is the battery. Um, so they're both going to see the full voltage from the battery. That voltage is 10 volts. All right. Okay, so um, we've got that part answered. Um, now we could approach finding the total current um, a couple different ways, but I think I want to show you exactly how to figure out the equivalent resistance in this circuit. And here's one where I'd actually, I would encourage you guys to pull out the calculators and do this yourself as well so that you yeah, make sure you get the right answer um, because this often is a, a bit of an issue. So just filling in numbers here, one over 100 plus one over 200. Of course, if I, if I put this into a calculator, this looks like 0 0.01, and that'd be inverse ohms, plus, uh, same thing as in class, I'm running out of space, 0 0.005 inverse. There we go. Um, so this looks like what, 1 over R total is equal to 0 0.015 inverse ohms. Okay, well, in order to solve this, then um, uh, what would I have to do? I've got to isolate R sub T. Um, I guess I would multiply R sub T. Uh, I would multiply by R sub T on both sides and then divide by 0 0.015. That's what this looks like, okay? So, or another way to say it is I, I've got to take the reciprocal of both sides of this equation. So when I plug this into a calculator, I get that my total is 60, uh, my total resistance is 66.7 ohms. That's not something I asked for, but it is important. So I'm gonna put a box around it. All right, um, let's move on here. Let's try to move on. Uh, Okay, uh, 66.7 ohms, 10 volts. Okay, oh, goodness, um, <laughs> that was not supposed to be there. Um, all right, let's go back. Um, that's, uh, that was a bit of a surprise. Okay, um, <laughs> we'll look at that in a minute. Um, so our total, 66.7 ohms, um, and uh, we had V1 was equal to 10 volts, and that was the same thing as V2. Okay, all right, well, that's and that's the same thing as V2 as well. All right, so what, what was the next thing we were looking for? We we're looking for the total current. Well, that's going to be total voltage divided by total resistance, 10 volts over 66.7 ohms. Um, and this is, gives me a value of 0 0.15 amps. So there we go. Uh, let's see if that checks out. Um, I1 is what? V1 over R1? 10 volts over 100 ohms is 0 0.10 amps. Okay. Right. Uh, what about I2? I2 is V2. 2, 10 volts over, uh, excuse me, 200 ohms, 0 0.05 amps. Well, would you look at that? These two combine and we get exactly what we would expect is that they, when they add together, they end up with uh, giving us I total. Okay. The last thing we've got is the power used up by both resistors. Uh, we can just pull out the P is equal to IV equation. And multiply the appropriate things together. We get one watt for the first one. And for the second one, get half a watt. Um, and if we were to figure out the total power, uh, well, what would that be? I total, V total, 0 0.15 amps, batteries 10 volts, 
that's 1.5 watts and that checks out as well all right um hope this has been clear to y'all um i know this one has been a bit longer um but um it, it, the parallel is a, a little more complicated so it takes a little longer to, to go through um, we'll clear that and we will take a look here that is a purebred dog all right i will talk to you later guys